Hey, babe, babe, y'all better be glad. This must be a good night because, baby, y'all getting two episodes of Mr. Six Foot Eight in one day. But that's a good thing, though. That means there's a lot to talk about. So let's go ahead and get into it. Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 13, episode two. Let's go. episode two of season 13 y'all um <clears throat> first of all let me just sit here and start by saying um i didn't know who latoya forever was okay um as a matter of fact i didn't even know who uh drew sador was well i knew who she was but you know how you know like you'd be like oh yeah the girl from that movie see i didn't know she had played in tlc sexy cool drew sador but, you know, I found out, you know, tonight that that's what she played in. Because prior to, I just couldn't, I mean, I couldn't even wrap my head around her playing in the game. But then again, I didn't even watch the game like that. So, eh, whatever. Anyways, y'all, what do y'all think about the new castmates? So, basically, tonight was all about introducing the new castmates, which are Latoya Forever and Drew Sedora. Latoya um, was recently married to uh, Adam Ally, I believe is his name. Um, don't know what he do, but they had been together for six years after calling it quits back in June of this year. And so basically her storyline is basically centered around, excuse me, Latoya's storyline is centered around, um, I guess her being a new divorced woman. And apparently she has, you know, made friends with Kenya. And i get into that later as far as with the Kenya thing because I got a couple of things to share about that too. Then we have Drew Sador who is married to um, a guy named Ralph. So, and that's all I'm going to see here and address him by is a guy named Ralph. Oh, fine ass Ralph. Baby, didn't Ralph look good tonight, baby? He looked like a little, a little snicker, a little fun size snicker, honey, is what he looked like. He looked kind of short, but that's okay, though. He nonetheless, he was all built and buff. You could tell he had been probably pumping a couple of weights before he had went and decided to come on camera and stuff. Baby, Ralph was looking mighty scrumptious, okay? And um, so, yeah, so, you know, we got a, a taste of the new castmates tonight. Um, my thoughts on them is that I feel like Latoya Forever um, it's been reported that she's good friends with Candy Burris. My homegirl, love you to death, Candy. But Latoya, I just kind of felt like you was trying too hard with this whole Trinidad, you know, background stuff, trying to, you know, push it off on us. And then you, you know, opening the scene up with Cynthia um, over at Kenya House and you walking over there and you up here talking about how Trinidad men are because of Kenya's you know, husband and talking about how they're cheaters and stuff. But then, girl, you couldn't even sit here and spell the word that you was trying to sit here and get out in reference to as far as the, um, the men who were who are supposedly cheaters as far as Trinidad men. So I'm going to need for you to sit here and go and sit down some of us. Just, just have a couple of seats. Not just a, you know, one or two, just a couple of seats. Because I didn't understand that. Like, how are you going to be out here trying to act like you represent I'm all for it and then can't even sit here and spell the word. Girl, bye. Anyways, look. Aside from that, and she was okay. You know, I'm going to give her a chance. I ain't going to go too hard on her. However, um, so yeah, the episode basically opened up with Kenya, you know, blowing leaves off her back porch as if she does that every day. Girl, we know you don't blow no leaves off your back porch, especially in a dress like you had on tonight. Girl, bye. Kenya, I'm going to need for you to go ahead and get that divorce finalized is what you need to be doing or custody action or whatever you're trying to sit here and do. I'm going to need for you to go and get that finalized instead of trying to blow leaves off your back deck because we know you don't do no yard work. It's obvious, okay? We can tell by the way you was holding that blower, okay? Now, according to you tonight, the way y'all was talking, we know that you probably good at blowing some stuff, but blowing leaves is not it. Mm -mm. Keep going. Anyways, so then we have uh, Cynthia, who basically Cynthia, I don't think Cynthia really gave much tonight. I mean, she basically was just, you know, amongst the group. One thing I would, did want to sit here and mention is that I didn't appreciate Marlo sitting here telling Cynthia at their little shindig 
afterwards in, in the next, you know, scene that came up about, you know, how don't tell your business to send him Kenya. And then Marlo in the same breath going to turn around and hug Kenya like they good friends when it was time for, you know, Marlo to sit here and leave. See, people like that that's fake and phony want to sit here and try to hug on you, but talk about you, talk about you behind your back. Those are the ones that you got to sit here and watch. And Marlo clearly shows that she's not really a good friend at all to anybody. People like that, you stay away from. But nonetheless, though, you know, I just, um, I'm still like really kind of over the whole Cynthia storyline, especially with this wedding. Girl, we, we done saw the wedding. We done saw the pictures. They were cute and stuff. And um, I just don't think it's really nothing else left to talk about as far as along that line. You probably would have had a better storyline with Nene quiet as it's kept. But nonetheless, moving right along to Drew. So Drew Sedora came into the picture. She came over um, at a little, you know, gathering or whatnot. And, you know, I actually like Drew. Even though I don't know much about her, um, I think Drew is definitely, she is definitely um, a strong, opinionated person. And also, I wanted to sit here and add, is it just me or did she look like Megan Good? Because the whole night I kept getting confused because at first I would see Latoya and then I would see Drew. And I just would feel confused because I'm just like, well, I could have sworn I just saw the same person. But then my mind also kept registering with Megan Good for some reason. Like she really does look like Megan Good. Like I'm going to hold the pictures up right here and see what y'all think. She was really giving me Megan Good. I'm sorry. She was. Maybe that's why I just was all over the place. Nonetheless, though, you know, um, you can tell that Bravo clearly is desperate to search for storylines because it seemed like at first, you know, when the girls got together for a little chat, mind you, Candy wasn't really around tonight because she was dealing with Riley's graduation, graduation which I'll get into that in a second. But um, you could tell that, you know, they was trying to kind of, you know, put uh, Drew and uh, Latoya, you know, to kind of try to start up some drama that I like in the scene where, you know, Latoya stood up and said, oh, you know, I don't, you know, sit here and like you or something like that. And then she came back in the next scene and said, oh, yeah, because you played, you know, you was the reason why um, in the game, Melanie and Duran and them, you know, was having trouble in their relationship and all that stuff. Like, you could tell that Bravo was really, like, trying to create drama or spice up some drama as far as storyline to try to pit these women against one another. But I just ain't, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. But I do like Drew. Um, I do like her, you know, her vibe that she was giving. Um, now, what I do not like with Kenya, I kind of feel like that Bravo is taking a direction with Kenya this season. And, uh original Kenya prior to marrying, you know, the guy that she was married to in New York, which was, oh, let's sit here and find Kenya a man or let 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 Kenya pay for somebody to be her husband or boyfriend or, you know, single Kenya out here ain't got no man. Let's try to find her a man so she can have a happily ever after. I just wasn't really feeling it. And I kept kind of feeling like that. You know, between her little new sidekick, Latoya, that, you know, her little ride, ride or die buddy now, all of a sudden, you know, between her trying to set her up on dating apps and stuff and, you know, them talking about marriages and divorces and all this stuff. I kind of feel like they're trying to kind of take Kenya back into the old Kenya to kind of give the show some more originality of how it used to feel since we don't have Nene anymore and I just wasn't feeling it because I kind of feel like Kenya has, has came a long way and I kind of feel like Kenya has elevated so much than what she used to be and I hope that you know this doesn't become a thing of you know her trying to one hit on Drew um Drew's man because I know there was a mention tonight of uh Kenya you know trying to throw shade at Drew but then on the flip side in the confessional talking about how Drew uh, husband was fine Ralph 
And girl, we know rap is fine, okay? We know rap over there looking like a box of chocolates. Don't know what kind of don't know what kind of packaging or what you're gonna get underneath. We know rap was looking all scrumptious. We know that, Kenya. We don't need you to address that on the show, okay? You just sit here and got okay good credit as far as you know, good reputation, rep you know. Being reputable out here in these streets is what I'm trying to get at. Don't make yourself a thought pocket again like you did when you was up there hitting on Apollo and stuff and making yourself, you know, look kind of a little quenched, okay? We don't need that Kenya anymore. We want the Kenya that was married, was minding her own business, wasn't bothered. You know what? Maybe you probably need to reconsider this divorce because you seem like you was a better person anyways prior to, you know, What's going on now? So I don't know. Maybe 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 we want to rethink that. And then as far as with Drew, um, I wanted to sit here and mention about Drew's mom because is it just me or is it just really kind of giving me the mom seems a little bit too much invested into Drew and Ralph's relationship. I didn't understand that. And then I see in the next episode, they're having a conversation with the mom. And I'm like, is the mom a psychologist to them? And I mean, like, what's really going on? And you can clearly tell that Ralph got an issue, you know, with the mom. Um, as far as, you know, probably being too invested into their love life. And then on top of that, they say birds of a feather flock together. So Mike and Ralph are friends apparently as well also. And as we all know, no shade to you, Cynthia, but you know, they, uh, like I told you in the previous, you know, recording, they said Mike was a rolling stone. And we did see all of those, all of those women last season that he had over there at the, you know, at the little gathering or whatever, all his exes and stuff. So all I'm saying is, Time would tell. I hope my intuition is wrong. But, um, mm, yeah, when I saw him and Mike hanging around, when I saw Ralph and Mike, I was like, uh, mm -mm, ain't no good going to come of this. I already see tragedy coming down the pipeline. I already, already now. It's already coming down. So then on the flip side, on a lighter note, we have uh, Candy, who we see is going to Riley's graduation. We see Candy, you know, is, is riding. I don't know if she has a black Uber, um, what they call Uber Black, when you have like the real high class Uber. I don't know if that was her truck, but you know, because you know, Candy has a Cadillac like that too. But I don't know if that was hers or she went and called Uber or somebody. But we see her riding in the back of the Cadillac going to Riders' graduation. She goes and swings through and pick up Mama Joyce. They head on over. We see Riley graduate. I'm so happy to see Riley become a grown woman. However, you can tell that Riley was overtaping, okay? Because after the graduation, she was looking like, look, I'm just here for you, mama, and I'm just ready to sit in and get on. Until Todd went and pulled out that wild of cash, and then she kind of got a little energetic, okay? That that mood, that she that slumber, that, that somber mood that she was in, it kind of... You know, she perked up when she saw them bands. When she saw them bands, bands to make her dance. I'm just saying, you know, she she perked up. You know, she perked up. That's all I'm saying. You know, she got a little, she got, she got a little happy. Okay, so look, all I'm saying is congratulations are in order for Riley. I'm happy for you. Go over there to NYU and get it like I know you will. And then come back and make a whole lot of money like your mama is all I'm going to say. Like mother, like daughter. You got it? Caprende? Okay, Caprende. Well, guys, I think that's it. I don't really know if there was anything else. I think I covered everything. Marlo being a third wheel. I ain't got shit going on. Talking about billionaires and how she done got this and that. And... Yeah, I don't know. What did y'all think about this episode? Uh, leave it down in the comments. Oh, and before I forget, just before I go, the last scene with Drew and Ralph. Um, I was really trying to figure out what the hell was going on because riddle me this. What man goes and has an argument with his wife and leaves for three days unannounced and don't tell nobody nothing? 
That don't seem a little strange to y'all. See, that's why I told you, you got to watch it. Birds of a feather flock together. He hangs out with Mike. They good friends. I'm just saying, do the math. Add it up. That's all I'm saying. And then you don't think that she don't have the right to be mad, Ralph, that you was gone for three days. You don't think that you owe her an excuse as to where you were gone for three days. Let, let my man sit here and his ass leave this house and go for three days. And we in a house that we live together and his ass leave for three days. Let him go and sit here and leave for three days. His ass ain't coming back. I bet you that. On that note, I'm out, y'all. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Until next time. Peace, my fun sizes. Love you all. Be safe out there.